welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here thanks so much for stopping by today what I have for you today is my collective haul for the month of September so if that sounds interesting to you then why don't we go ahead and get started all right so September is my anniversary month and um, this year is my 20th anniversary so hubby gave me a little bit of leeway um, to go a little bit above my normal budget so I did a lot of shopping so um, you'll see an Ulta 21 days of beauty haul and then you're also going to see this haul um, just know that most of what I got was on sale not all of it um, but also a lot of it was for the channel sake as well so and there you go plus he spoiled me on top of letting me buy makeup he got me this beautiful necklace it's a sunflower so gorgeous and he got me these earrings too from James Avery so I was very very spoiled this month um, my husband took very good care of me so there we go um, all right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the very first thing I got was the Pat McGrath Mothership Utopian. What is it called? Utopian Dream Palette. <gasps> oh my gosh. When I saw this released, I was just like, yes, please. I have to have it. Um, I only have one other of her large palettes um and well like in this kind of packaging um and i've been wanting to get more so i saw this one and i was like this is definitely the color story for me so this is what she looks like if you haven't seen her um and in the mirror you can see maybe possibly if i scoot back you can see the shifts I don't know I don't know how people get the shifts to pick up but anyways she is gorgeous and she is mine I'm so excited um, so definitely be looking forward to a video with this one I cannot wait to dive into this palette um, it's, it's almost more of a spring palette in my opinion but that's okay I don't care I'll wear this any time of year especially with the pinks and the purples so I am down for that all right so that was the first thing um, and then I'm not sure if you guys are aware but Ace Beauté reformulated their um, all of their eyeshadow palettes and I had almost all of them um, so I purchased the reformulated ones to test them out against their old formula to see the difference um, because I did really like their old formula but there were some complaints that I had um, namely with the shimmers um, their mattes for the most part I was okay with I had a few problems blending some of them but um, for the most part their shimmers were just real thin like I felt like you almost had to put it on top of a base or a matte or a concealer to get it to really pop um, so I went ahead and I got the um, Blossom Passion and this is the Blossom Passion and I've already marked them on the back so I don't get them mixed up um, this is their kind of pink palette so there's Blossom Passion and then I got Classical Paradise and there's Classical Paradise I'm telling you fall in a palette <clears throat> pardon me and then next is um, slice of paradise this is like their rainbow palette so that is what this looks like right here very pretty last but not least in this type of format is um, paradise fallen which was my favorite out of all four of these um, and I loved the other palette but if they've made improvements and made it even better then I'm even more excited. So there's Paradise Fallen. It's beautiful. I love this palette. 
I love the cool tones. I think they did such a great job with this color story. So honestly, I think they did a great job with all of the color stories, um, but Paradise Fallen is my favorite out of those four. And then I got um, Vintage Dawn, which is also fall in a palette, in my opinion. It's got these beautiful, you know, earth tone shades. It's got the the reds and the oranges and the golds and the yellows, the blues, all, and there's a green down there. So all the colors I think of when it comes to fall. And then I got the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. This is the last one of the ones that I already had. Um, I did pick up one additional one that I've been wanting, but this is the Nostalgia Palette. This is more of like a summer spring palette to me, but it's oh so gorgeous and I loved it when I played with when I did my look with this um, but again the shimmers were kind of thin um, so we'll see uh, they say they amped up their shimmer so we'll see we will compare them side by side um, all of the palettes I will be comparing side by side um, and then I picked up the oceanic palette this one I did not have originally um, but I've wanted it for a while, so I went ahead and took advantage of the fact that I was making an order and went ahead and picked it up. And if you've never seen this one before, she is beautiful. She's a beautiful blue and green um, tone palette. Just, it's gorgeous. Love this palette. Love this color story. So... Very excited to try this one out as well um, and I will definitely try to do a look with this one on camera as well as I show you all more palettes <laughs> it's going to be challenging but that's okay I'm going to try to get through them um, so there's Ace Beauté that's the haul I got from Ace Beauté um, and then from a brand it's an indie brand called Sugar Drizzle they um, have a pickle palette and it says paint me green and call me a pickle because I'm done dealing with you <laughs> eyeshadow palette um, so this is gorgeous if you like greens then you'll love this and I like the additions um, that they added in here with this like purple and this kind of uh, kind of a goldish bronze color oh it's almost pink oh it's a duochrome oh wow I didn't realize that the purple one is the duochrome too so they look different on camera then I wonder if I can pick that up then they do in person wow so in person this one looks like it's got bronze and pink in it and then this purple one's kind of like a blue purple maybe I don't know we'll have to see when we play with this one um, and this one looks like it's a duochrome too so I don't know I'll have to I can't wait to swatch these and play with these and see what it's all about so uh, I was very excited I love green so I was very excited to get that one so there you go okay so sorry I had to make a little bit of room so next up I did a Morphe haul first thing they put all of Jaclyn Hill's individual brushes on sale and I love her brush shape so like I bought a ton of them um yeah I, I bought a bunch um but I mean they were really really cheap they were like two dollars each I think um, and then the face brushes were like four dollars each so I was like yeah um, because I really like her brush shapes so I mean I went a little crazy but honestly I didn't spend that much because like I said they were they were like 50% off or 60% off or something crazy like that. I don't know if they're getting rid of her individual brushes um, or what the deal was, but I was like, yeah, so I took advantage of that. 
Um, but I got mostly eye brushes. Um, a lot of the face brushes that I was interested in were already sold out. Um, so there was that. And then they put their, they put her brush set on sale. So I went ahead and I got the Master Collection, which has um, both the face and the eye brushes. Um, and it was 40% off, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So it was too good of a deal to pass up. I've been wanting this whole set since she released it, um, the Master Collection. So I am definitely set on brushes for a good long while. Um, I will not be purchasing any more brushes anytime soon. Um, and then I also picked up the new uh, Cherry Cola, or Cherry Coke, not Cherry Cola, Cherry Coke palette, which I just thought was adorable because it's got the tin pa packaging like, um, like Too Faced does. Um, sadly, they didn't, they didn't fragrance this one like Too Faced does, but that's okay. But yeah, I mean, it looks exactly like Too Faced packaging. It's that tin packaging. Um, and it's a really pretty palette, I think. Um, this is what it looks like right here. So if you haven't seen it already. So picked that up. So I plan on definitely doing at least one look with that. Um, and I'll be using my Jaclyn Hill brushes to do that for sure. Um... So yeah, I I was really excited to get this palette. It, I just thought it was really unique and different for them. Um, and I picked up uh, two more palettes. I picked up um, Ashley Strong. I didn't know who she was, but she's a YouTuber. Um, she released a palette with them, um, an eyeshadow palette, and she re uh, released a cake liner palette um and that's actually what's on my eyes today um so this is my first time using cake liner so that's the brown that you see it's a little bit thicker than i intended it to be but it is what it is um but this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it this is the eyeshadow palette and this one this is called the affirmation magic artistry palette so that's what that looks like. Beautiful, I think. It reminds me of um, Halloween colors, kind of. Um, but beautiful, like Halloween, fall, winter colors. Um, very deep, sultry colors. Um, and I had a good time playing with this palette today. Um, so, so far so good. Very pleased with it. Uh, yeah, and then the cake palette, I'll show you that one. This one, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of places releasing cake liners now, um, but this is more unique because they're more earth tones. Um, most of the cake liners that you see are like neons or pastels, bright colors, or they're like UV reactive or whatever the case may be, but these are more earth tones. So you've got, you know, like um, you've got this blue this is like a navy blue right here then you've got black then you've got this reddish um, brown which is what I have on my eyes today and then you have like a kind of a khaki color um, this is like an olive green color right here and then this is kind of a muted brown color right here so I thought those were kind of exciting, um, you know, that way you don't have to go too crazy, but you can still make some really cool looks with the cake liners. So, um, and they were really easy to, it was really easy to use. Um, I was kind of not sure how the, that reddish brown was going to go over these really dark, um, the really dark greens that I had put down, but it had no problem covering them up at all. So, um, yeah, it's at least that one particular shade that I've used so far, um, is really, really good. So, uh, so far so good. Um, I plan to wear this a lot this fall season. So, you know, I'll report back as I can. 
Um, so that was my Morphe haul. I told y'all I went, I went ham, but like I said, most of this stuff was on sale. A few things are new, like the Ace Butte palettes, but I got that for the channel. Um, but like the, those brushes, I mean, that was a really, really good sale. Um, especially on the individual brushes. So yeah, that, that was, that was pretty crazy. And then let's see, next up, I have a ColourPop haul. Big surprise. Um, let's see, they had some of their stuff still on sale. So I picked up a Soul, I picked up two Soul Shimmering Body Powders to match the um, Shimmering Body Oil that I have. So I got Warm Gold, which I don't know if I can get this open without a tool of some sort. My goodness, there we go. So there's Warm Gold, very pretty. And then I also got um, Pink Champagne, which is gorgeous. I wish I had time I would swatch all of this stuff, but I bought too much stuff and I need to get through it quickly. So there's pink champagne right there. Don't know if these are still available, but if they are, they're really, 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 really pretty. Um, and if they're on sale, I would highly recommend picking them up on sale. So yeah, I will use that on my face and my body for sure. Um, and then I picked up two of their blush palettes. I got at first crush so that's what this one looks like so there's at first crush and then I'm sure I'll be using this on camera I need to do like a full face of ColourPop in addition to my uh, marathon this one is called born to blush And that's what this one looks like. It's just a little bit lighter, a little bit more neutral tone. So I thought that would definitely work for me. Um, and then part of their sale that they were having, I can't remember if it was like buy one, get one free or something, but they had these from, I don't remember what line these were from, what, collection these were from maybe the cloud spun so this is maybe I can read it I can't read it on that pink right there um, let me open it this is take the cake pressed powder blush just a real pretty pink I've been into blush like way too much lately. I need to stop ordering blushes. <laughs> I do not need any more blush. Um, and then this one is Truffle Shuffle. So this is even more of a neutral kind of pink. So that's perfect. Love it. And I've been loving their pressed powder blushes. So. I'm very happy to have these. Um, and then they had a, um, oh, they have some more stuff. They have some more stuff that I picked up that was on sale. More blushes. <laughs> um, this was part of their mauve collection um, back when they released that. And this is in Catch My Vibe. So, like I said, I need to quit with the blushes. This one's really light. I'm not even sure if it's going to show up on my face, but I think it will. I think it'll be, you know, just, just right. Um, because I'm pretty fair, especially in the winter. Um, so, yeah, I think it'll be okay. And then I got this one. Um, can't read that one. Uh, Crossroads maybe? I think this was part of the Wild Nothing collection. 
um, Crossroads, yeah. So, this one is a little bit more of like a, a neutral blush, kind of a peachy neutral blush. So I like that one a lot too. So, and it was on sale, I believe. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then they released their horoscope collection, but I restrained myself and I only got mine. I'm a Taurus, so I got this one. Never Taurus Apart is what it's called. Um, and it's really pretty. It's got really pretty um, brown and like a... I think this is a duochrome and then that green is gorgeous and then that really pretty like gold champagne color. Mm, I'm looking forward to definitely doing a look with that. So I got that and then um, two of their pressed powder shadows that were on sale. I got Painted Lady. Just looked like a really pretty pink kind of color to me and this is um kk just says kk it's like a uh, purple so i got those and then they came out with the princess super shock vault now i thought they were going to be like in a box but they came individually in um in bubble wrap I mean they were well wrapped but they weren't in any kind of box or anything so whatever but so I got the whole set of them so I got all uh, 12 of them I'm like let me do math um, so I'm not gonna open all 12 of them but there's there's the first set and I really like the packaging it's got like different prints on here I'll try to use my ColourPop Super Shocks on camera more. Um, like Cinderella has the Cinderella carriage and all of that. And I'm sure that somebody probably did a really detailed um, video of these. I wouldn't be surprised if Makeup Just For Fun did one. Um, or maybe Shay XO, maybe she did like a swatching video, I'm not sure. Um, but there you go, there's those, and these. So I am definitely set on blushes and super shocks for a long time, so I will not be buying those brushes too, so. Okay, and then they came out with It's a Mood. And I was in a mood to buy It's a Mood because it's a beautiful palette. I just, it caught my eye the second I saw it. I did that, as Samantha March would say, the double take. Yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was like, whoa, what is that? That is pretty. Um, very pretty. Now, I mean, it does have some um, glitters in here. I think it has two glitters, but I can look past that because the rest of the shades are just gorgeous. You've got a lot of jewel tone shades in there. I don't know, it's just gorgeous. So I am super excited about this palette. It can be used year round, so I am very excited to have It's a Mood in my collection. And then they went and put their mega palettes on sale. And so I didn't have um, Bare Necessities. So I picked up Bare Necessities. I'm sure you've all seen this, but I'll show you what it looks like again. <clears throat> if I can get it open. So Bare Necessities is like the perfect neutral palette. Um, and I've wanted it for a while, but I'd held off because I'm like, well, I don't necessarily need it, but it was I think it was buy one get one free if I'm not mistaken so there's bare necessities I'm pretty sure it was buy one get one free it was a really good deal I was like well crap <laughs> so I got the bare necessities um, I already had the stone cold 
one. Um, so I didn't need that one. I wasn't really a fan of It's Golden. Um, however, they have, and I already have the um, Fade Into Hue and the It's So Jaded, which I think that one's discontinued. But um, I did love the It's All Good palette, so I went ahead and got that one. So yeah, I think it was buy one, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure is buy one get one free. Um, and I just couldn't pass up that deal. So this one right here actually reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Um, it reminds me of their Fortune palette that they used to have. Um, I don't know. It's just beautiful. Um, and I've wanted this one for a while as well. So I, it was just too good of a deal to pass up. So that is what I did. So now the Super Shocks, I think, yeah, the Super Shocks were on sale too. So that's why I went ahead and got those. So the blushes, the Soul Body powders, um, the individual eyeshadows, the Mega palettes, except for the the new one, the uh, It's a Mood. It's a Mood wasn't on sale, but these two were on sale. Um, and then the other, the Taurus was not on sale, but everything else was on sale. Um, so I jumped on it. Uh, what, what can I say? I'm weak. I love ColourPop. I love their Super Shocks. I love their cheek stuff. Um, I wanted to try the Shimmering Body Powders. So I went ahead and jumped on the deal while they had them. Um, like during their last call. So yeah, I think I'm... Well, I was going to say I think I'm done placing ColourPop orders for a while, but no. Uh, they just came out with a whole new collection that I'll be receiving shortly. Um, I just don't think it would be here in time for my September haul. So I think it'll probably get here like October 1st or whatever. So it will be coming and I will be doing a video with it. So keep your eye out for that um, as well. So yeah, ColourPop, never, ColourPop always gets me. It never fails. They always get me, especially when they do sales. And they've been doing a lot of sales. So I'm trying to avoid their emails. <laughs> Plus they keep doing such cute collections like Tinkerbell and, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, I cleared some room to, to show y'all the rest of what I've got. So um, next up are just some one-offs. Um, I ordered, I think, I can't remember where I ordered it from. I'm pretty sure it was um, Ulta. I ordered the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. Um, in case you haven't seen it, I'm sure you have by now. A lot of people have already reviewed it. Um, but I just couldn't help myself. It just was so cute. I haven't gotten the previous years, although I did just order those as well. Mm, smells like cinnamon. And that is what it looks like right there. Um, so there's that. And I got the Melted Matte um, lipstick to go with it. And Cinnamon Bun. And that is what this looks like. That's a really pretty color. I really like that. Very pretty color. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. Um, which was a good thing. So yeah, I really like that. And I got a free um, makeup bag to go with it. A free Born This Way makeup bag, apparently. Um, hold on. Can I open it without it being too terribly loud? I don't know, I might just leave it in the plastic and put it in a future giveaway because I don't need any more makeup bags, but this is what it looks like. It's super cute. Um, so I'll, I'll put it back in the bag so it stays nice and clean. So that was my Too Faced haul. I can't remember if I got that from Ulta or from Too Faced. It might have been from Too Faced. I don't remember. I'm honestly, I'm honestly drawing a blank. I don't remember. 
Um, and then from It's Bell Cosmetics, they're an indie brand, I ordered the Flare Collection Palette. Um, their shimmers are incredible, if I can get this out of the sleeve. Um, and I mean, this one especially has so many purples in it, there was no way I was passing this one up. So be expecting to see a video with this very soon. Um, it's a very pretty, you've got some duochromes in there and it's just very sparkly and metallic and gorgeous. So I can't wait to play with that palette. Um, so I got that. Um, and then when I was at Walgreens, they had their cosmetics buy three or buy two get buy three get one free or buy two get one free. So basically, if you you get the third one free, that's what I was trying to say. So I had originally had the um, Outlaw Olive palette, but it had come busted and it really bothered me how it looks. So. I got a new one um, and then I saw this really pretty one called Rosy Revenge. Um, so let's see, can I open this? No, it's got tape on it or something. Oh, there we go. Rosy Revenge. I thought, oh wow, that's gorgeous. I'll definitely use that. So I got that to try out. And then I got this one in Jewel Heist. Unfortunately, the blue completely came out of the pan um, and has shattered a little bit, but I'm being very careful with it. Um, I've pressed it back into the pan and it didn't go all over the place. Um, there's a little bit of a crack, a chip up there, but I'll just have to be careful with this one. But um, I thought that this was a really pretty one too. So. Picked those up at Walgreens on sale when I was there one day picking up a prescription, as one does. Um, and then from Beautylish, they had a couple of, well, they had a sale going on. And they had Natasha Denona's Zendo palette on sale. I'm sure you've seen this by now. It's been out for a while. But um, it's one that I have wanted. I've already got my fingerprints on it. Um, it's one I've wanted since she released it. I quite love it. So there it is right there. There's the Zendo palette. Don't know that I'll be doing a video or anything because this has been out for a while. But um, I'll definitely be using it um, off camera if not. And then... They also put the Trio Chrome on sale, and I wanted that one since they released it. And um, even though I know it only has three multi-chromes and they're not even comparable to some indie brand multi-chromes, I didn't care. I still wanted this palette, so this is what this palette looks like right here. Very, very pretty. So I am very excited to have both of these in my collection. Um, I love Natasha Denona shadows, so um, I will probably continue to buy Natasha Denona shadows going forward. So there you go. Um, and then as a free gift with purchase, I got a Natasha Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. And Beautylish sent a Sicily Pear Sicily Paris skincare lotion called Sisleya Essential Skincare Lotion. So, just a nice little deluxe sample there from Beautylish. So, I'll take it. I like anything free. All right. Sorry, I had to pause again because I had to make more room. Okay, and then C Color Cosmetics, which I've talked about in the past. Um, they are a company that makes dupe palettes um, or inspired by palettes. Um, I've been a big fan of theirs for a while. Now I have several of their palettes while well, they had a sale. So, um, and at the same time I decided I'm no longer going to be supporting Jeffree Star. 
So since I'm not using his palettes on camera, I'm actually getting rid of all of his palettes. Um, I am keeping his lips because I can't really sell those to anybody. So I'll use them up and, you know, dispose of them as needed. Um, but so I went ahead and took advantage of the sale to get the dupes for Jeffree Star stuff and then also to get some other stuff that they had that I've been wanting and some new stuff. So um, the first one I got is Feverish. This is a dupe for the ABH Sultry Palette. Um, wanted to get this. I have the Sultry Palette, but I love it so much that I wanted to compare the two and you can't get the Sultry Palette anymore. So I figure this is a good alternative to be able to give to you guys. Um, and then I picked up Unisex 5. This is a dupe for the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette, which has been discontinued. Um, and I never got my hands on that palette, so I love the color story, so I went ahead and picked this one up. Yes, and then let's see. Next up, I got the Diamond Palette, which I believe this was an original of theirs. This is all shimmers completely gorgeous um so I can't wait to play with that I got plenty of matte palettes colorful matte palettes that I compare this with so I'm not worried about that at all um so I'm pretty sure this was an original of theirs it's not a dupe of anything okay and then I got this galaxy color palette um and this is a dupe of oh I need something to help me open this up open the tape. This is a dupe of the Huda Mercury Retrograde palette which I was looking at buying. It was on sale and then it got sold out unfortunately or I don't know it was it was something like if you bought one of their one of her big palettes you got it for free or something like that. I don't know I was I was about to buy it but it was sold out and it worked out for me because then I decided no I'm just gonna get this because it's pretty much the exact same thing um, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper so there you go so that is the dupe for her mercury retrograde palette is what it's called I believe and then I got, I'm just trying to show you all the ones that are not Jeffree Star first. Then I got the Unisex 4 palette. And this is a dupe for the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. So I got that. I do have the Latte palette, but I wanted to compare this to the Latte palette for you guys. Um, so I will be doing that. And then I got the um, Dusk Till Dawn. And this is a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette, um, which I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I would say snatch it up because it's a beautiful palette. But if it's not, here's a great dupe for you right here. Um, and I do plan on trying to do a video to compare those as well. So I got that one. And then um, I saw this one and I was like, gosh, what is this? What is this a dupe of? It's reminding me of something. And I finally figured it out and confirmed it actually on their website. It is a dupe for the... Um, Norvina collection, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection, um, volume four or five, I can't remember which one, but anyways, um, I'll pull it out and show it to you guys. I think it was volume five. So I think four was more pink and five had a little bit more purple to it. Actually, I think I have it behind me. I can look. 
Um, but look, there you go. There's that. Let me let me get the actual palette. So here's this one right here. This is the festival palette, and this is a dupe for the Naveen, the Norvina, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume Four. And here she is right here. I will open her up and I mean like it's shade for shade. Um, they line up next to each other. So, well here, let me try to do this where the mirror doesn't blind you guys. Um, but look at that, shade for shade they line up. <laughs> so, this is an absolute complete dupe for the Norvina Volume 4. So I'm curious if they plan on doing the Volume 5 or any of the other ones um, going forward. So I was really excited to figure that out and find out that they had done a dupe for that. That was That's pretty awesome. So I plan on doing a video because I haven't even ha had a chance to play with this palette yet, this Norvina palette yet. So um, yeah, planning on doing a video with that soon. Um, so I am excited about that as well. All right, and then um, I'll show you guys the dupes for the Jeffree Star stuff. So there's the um, Unisex 2. So this is a dupe for, if I can get it out of the sleeve, this is a dupe for the Beauty Killer palette right here. Spot on dupe. And I have the Beauty Killer palette, so I'll do a video um, comparing them for sure. Um, and then I'll be getting rid of that. Um, and then this one, the Unisex 3, is a spot-on dupe for the Androgyny palette, which I love. Um, but I'm going to be getting rid of it, um, so this will take its place. But of course, I'll do a video on it first. And then I got Purple Rain, which is, um, what was the name of that palette? The Purple Palette, I have it. So this Purple Rain is a dupe for the um, Bloodlust. So let me open it so you guys can see it. Um, so his purple palette, the Bloodlust, or semi-purple palette. And I have that palette. And we'll do a video with that too. So there you go. There's the dupe for the Bloodlust. And then last but not least, I have um, Blue Sky, which is a dupe for Blue Blood. So yeah, pretty spot on. It doesn't have like that special really glittery shade, but that's okay. I can get over that. Um, I'm just not supporting him anymore, um, like I said. So there you go. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and get the dupes so I could show you guys and you could see, um, you know, if you like the dupes because like maybe you don't want to support him, but you like, um, you like some of his palettes, but instead you could buy the dupes. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, um, I have a Sephora haul. For you guys so I got um, these were on sale and they were beautiful I was shocked they were on sale super cheap they're from House of Lashes and Sephora they're called Amethyst Multidimensional Prism Lashes and I don't know if you can see them they are gorgeous so I picked up three pairs because I love House of Lashes lashes so there you go um, I picked up the Tint Edol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Um, this is what it looks like. I got it in the shade 110, which is about my shade in the 
uh, foundation most of the time. Um, I picked up the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. It was on sale and I have wanted this since she released it. Um, I had the Celestial Thunder so that gave me kind of a taste of this one but it didn't have all the the real pretty shimmery shades like I was missing that purple specifically right there and so yes I picked that up I think it still is on sale right now um, I don't know if it's being discontinued or what the deal is but I jumped on that and got that and then I got also on sale um, the Natasha Denona Coral Palette and like I said, I will always buy Natasha Denona. Love Natasha Denona. So if you haven't seen this palette before, here you go. Natasha Denona Coral Palette. Beautiful. And then I got another Natasha Denona palette. I got the Cranberry Palette. I've wanted this one since she released it and it was on sale for like half off, I think. So I don't know if she's discontinuing it. Just heads up if it's one you've been interested in. Whoops. Just accidentally dipped my finger into that shimmer right there, but that's okay. But anyways, there's the Cranberry Palette. Uh, very excited to have this in my collection. Like I said, I've wanted it since she released it. The Coral one I was interested in, but I mean, I've really wanted the Cranberry one since she released it. So very excited to have that in my collection um and then let's see what else i got some freebies because i made multiple orders so we'll go through those in a few minutes but um the last of what i actually like ordered um i'm getting out for you I got the all three of the Huda Beauty Wild palette. So I got Wild Jaguar or Jaguar, however you say that. However you choose to say it is fine by me. So I love the packaging on that. Hopefully it's picking it up. Come on. Anyways, it's kind of picking it up, but kind of not. I think it's just being washed out. Anywho, but this is what this one looks like. This is a very beautiful cool tone palette. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. So I got that one, and I love how she did the different prints in here. Um, it's just a really neat looking palette, so... Excited about that one. And then we got the Wild Python. I think this one, the shift in the on the packaging will come across a little bit better in the Wild Python than it did in the Wild Jaguar. Maybe. Yeah. You can kind of see it. A little bit. The ring light's just washing it out, but you can cut. There you go. You can kind of see it right there. Anyways, it's very cool. Um, and then this is what this looks like: a blue and green tone palette. Beautiful. And then, last but not least, whoa! I almost dropped that. I would have been a bit upset there. Last but not least, I got the Wild Chameleon Palette. And this is what the Wild Chameleon Palette looks like on the outside. Yeah, you can see the shift on that one a lot better. Very cool. And this is what this one looks like. It's a very beautiful palette. So I am very excited about all of these palettes. 
So those were all three of the new Huda Beauty palettes. I'm super excited to play with those. Um, so be watching for videos with those too. I'm pretty much going to have to do a video every single day, I think. I might have to do two videos every day to keep up with um, everything that I got. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing videos on the old stuff like the Natasha Denona and the Dominique Cosmetics and stuff like that. But, you know, on the, the new Huda Beauty ones and the new Too Faced and all that stuff, yeah, I'd like to do videos on that. And of course, I want to compare the dupes and all that that I talked about. So, um, so now all I have left is, and I say all I have left, I got actually quite a bit, um, but all I have left are the free samples that I got with my Sephora orders because they all came in multiple orders. So this is a perfume set. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of perfumes and a Boom Boom cream in here. So super excited about that. Always look for your codes on Sephora. Use Rakuten and then look for the codes in the little drop down. And there's a whole bunch you can usually find to choose from. And I found a good one if you were spending like 35 or more, you got all these perfume samples and the Boom Boom cream. Um, and then for another one, I found where you got the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Bro Zarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray and the Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protectant Cream. So I got those. Um, and then as my free sample, I got um, the Urban Decay Naked um breathable foundation i haven't actually tried that yet and i got the herbivore butcher butchi oil i don't know retinol alternative smoothing serum so i got that um and then with one of the orders i guess the mark jacobs was free um the mark jacobs noir was free and I got Nest um, Perfume and Turkish Rose, which I can smell it mm, from here and it smells really good. And then lastly, I got like a hair care set. So there's some Whey and some DP Hue and Verb and all that. So, I mean, always check the codes. Use Rakuten when you're shopping online to make sure you're getting cash back and then always check the codes because Rakuten always has a big old list of all these Sephora codes and I just go through and I you know try to pick which one sounds the most interesting and sometimes the codes work sometimes they don't but the majority of the time they do so that's how I got all of that free stuff that I just showed y'all so yeah this and this and probably this and for sure this were all because of the codes that I got off of Rakuten when I was shopping online um, and then these were just free samples you know how they always do their two free samples so um, don't forget to get those also because you get you know perfume samples foundation samples and all of that so there you go that was my collective haul for the month of September. Um, and as I told y'all, you're also going to see an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty haul as well. So yes, I went crazy. So um, I kind of anticipate a low buy going forward just because I can't keep up with all this stuff. Um, now granted, all the holiday stuff is coming out. So there may be a few things that I buy but I'm pretty picky when it comes to the holiday stuff because I've learned my lesson over the years that a lot of times the holiday stuff isn't the best quality. <laughs> so I might be more making opinion videos on those rather than actually buying those and trying them just because I've learned, like I said, over the years that sometimes they're just a waste of money. Um, most of the time they are, sadly. Um, sometimes like the hourglass ones are a good deal if you don't have any hourglass, any of the hourglass ambient powders. Um, but I already have like two or three of those palettes, so I don't need 
the two that they just came out with, so I'll be skipping those. Um, what else? Most of the time, like the big Tarte palettes aren't very good quality. The big Too Faced palettes a lot of times aren't very good quality. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to see what else comes out. But if there's something that really catches my eye, then I might pick it up and review that for you guys. But otherwise, I'm planning to kind of tone it down because I need to play catch up with everything I've bought over the last few months. So there you go. But with all that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me in the YouTube algorithm. I'm just a little small micro channel trying to get noticed out here in this YouTube space. So um, leaving a like, commenting down below helps me tremendously um, as well. Um, also, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, I would love to have you as a subscriber and ring that notification bell so that you get notified of all of my future content. I do um, hauls, as you see. I do unboxings. I do tutorials. I do dupe videos. Um, I do tag videos. All kinds of different videos. I'm trying to. Oh, I've got a ColourPop marathon going on right now where I'm got so many ColourPop palettes. I'm trying to basically film with a ColourPop palette at least every other day so I can get through those on camera. Um, so I constantly have fresh content coming out um, and I try to post as often as I can. Um, so I do have a full-time job, so that does sometimes interfere with how often I can post, but for the most part, I do try to post at least three videos a week, um, and if not more, you know, especially with all the stuff I just bought. So I would love to have you as a, as a subscriber. Um, and then again, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you are having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world. I hope that you are staying safe and staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon. Bye!